guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be my January wrap-up. So I'm going to be going through all the books I read in the second half of January. If you missed my mid-month wrap-up, I will be sure to hopefully remember to link it up above. And if not, it's on my channel under the wrap-up slash TBR playlist. And so, yeah, I think that these are all the books I made. There's one of them I'm not sure if I mentioned in the mid-month or not, but I'm going to mention it in this one just in case. I don't think I did, but I will mention it. And so, yeah, I will be sitting on this side so I can put up pictures, like images, of all the books over there. So let's just get started. The first book I have to talk about is Ghost Girl by Ali Malinenko. This is a spooky middle grade. It's actually kind of a horror. It's pretty pretty horror, pretty spooky for a middle grade. I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. It was amazing. It follows Z and her best friend Elijah and the girl at school who's not very nice to her, Nelly, and they experience some paranormal things. And it's actually quite spooky. And I mean, not for me as much, but for a middle grade, I definitely was not expecting that, but I loved it. Next is Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I give this book five stars. It is a graphic novel. I loved it so much. This follows Nick and Charlie and it is their romance and figuring out who they are and they are high school students and it is just amazing. I love the Netflix show so I wanted to pick up the graphic novel and I'm glad I did. Next I read The Cage by Megan Shepard. I liked this one. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I didn't like the beginning but the end was okay. I, I started to like it by the end. I gave it 3.5 stars. I feel like that may have been a little generous. Maybe it should have been a 3. But I'm going to stick with 3.5 because the, the last little bit was really good. So next I read Radiance by Grace Draven, which I gave 5 stars. I love this. This is about a human woman, Ildiko, and a male Kai, whose name I can't remember. And they find each other repulsive, but they are arranged to be married. And they end up falling for each other, and I loved it. Five stars. Next, I read Something to Talk About by Meryl Wilsner. I gave this book four stars. It was really good, and I really enjoyed it. Next, I read What I Like, what I like About You by Marissa Cantor. I gave this book five stars. It was so good. I believe it's YA. It's a romance, and it is about this girl who has this online blog thing where she reviews YA novels and she bakes cupcakes and so it's about cupcakes and books and then the guy she likes he likes her in real life as herself and online as her online persona so that obviously calls for some issues and so the next book I read is As Old As Time by Liz Braswell this is, was part of the Twisted Tale series. It was a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Honestly, it was my least favorite out of the Twisted Tales novels I've read. I gave it 3.5 stars. I still enjoyed it. It was good, but nothing amazing. Next, I read City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I love this book. It is my favorite in the Mortal Instruments series so far. I gave it 5 stars, and it was just so good. Next, I read Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dane. I gave this 5 stars. I loved it. It is about a plus-sized heroine, and the hero is an actor on a TV show that she loves. She writes fan fiction about the show, about him, and so they meet online, and he, they are friends online, and then he also asks her out on a date in person, and then, you know, he realizes they're both the same person, but she doesn't know that he is the one she's friends with online, and the one from the show that she knows in person. So again, causes a bit of drama, but I loved it, five stars, absolutely enjoyed it, highly recommend. And the last and most recent book I read was Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. I gave this book 4.5 stars, I really liked it. I thought I was gonna love it, thought it was gonna be like a five star read. It wasn't unfortunately, but 4.5, still good, I really enjoyed it. This is an alien hero and a human heroine, and it, the tropes it has are insta-love and surprise pregnancy, and I really liked it. It was surprisingly really plot-driven as well, and so that is going to wrap up my January wrap-up. <laughs> going to wrap up my wrap-up, 
and thank you for watching um for today's video comment a one emoji a diamond emoji i don't know why just feel like it comment a diamond emoji if you made it this part of the video and you have nothing else to say if you want to comment if you've read any, any of these books and what you think or if you want to read them that would be great too and so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed before you go Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all next time.